from USA Today, vitamin C by IV and an FBI raid, how hope rather than proof sent the antioxidant sales soaring during COVID-19. And this is, this is just really disgusting. Uh, wearing face masks and protective Tyvek suits with yellow boots, FBI investigators recently raided a medical building in Metro Detroit to gather evidence about an alleged fake treatment being sold for COVID-19. It looked like a drug bust. Authorities sealed off the building's entrance, carried away boxes, and enlisted local police to secure the area. But this wasn't a rogue lab getting seized for illicit substances. In this case, agents were investigating a suspected scheme involving an essential nutrient found in orange juice, broccoli, and strawberries, vitamin C. Now, aside from the actual science here, right? I mean, we, we could debate this. this. This premise that if someone is doing something that government doesn't like, they can just shut them down with a raid like this is obscene and, and really, truly offensive, even if it's a fraud. Like, is what's the bigger fraud here? That government is going to be the arbiter of health? That we can't decide for ourselves? Now, I'm, I'm reading this entire article going, where's the part where they prove that vitamin C doesn't do anything for COVID? And they don't. Like, they don't even prove. Like, and, and we know that vitamin C has a general effect of boosting your immune system. We know that your immune system fights COVID. If people want to take this extra precaution and say, hey, you know, I'm going to do my super immune boost. Why stop them from doing it? Why prevent like and, and just the hypocrisy? Of this, it's an alternative treatment and it's it's not harmful. Right. They, they, they can't say they're hurting people. Or there's nobody who's suffering a negative effect of this. Is, is it, now, is there a fraud? If they say this is going to cure COVID nineteen, perhaps yeah that, that that would that would be a fraud. By the way, if they said, hey, look, we're giving you intravenous vitamin C, and it's it's proof that it it's going to you know help you with COVID, right? That would be a fraud. But if they say, hey, look, hey, there's this bio threat out there. There's this pandemic that the government is saying is such a crazy threat, and you know what? We know that it's if the better your immune system is, the better you'll be at fighting this. So we have these things that are going to boost your immune system. And, and hopefully they hope with Corona. Generally, they're, they're going to help. They're not going to hurt. You know, is that is that a fraud if they just say, hey, you know, we think this is this is going to help. So, you know, do it. Well, if you cross that line in the messaging, does that warrant government coming in and shutting you down? If you come and say, well, no, no, actually, we if you do this, you would not. We believe it will have an effect or it should have a positive effect, but it will have an effect. Does that justify government stepping in? No, still does not justify it. It would justify, what does it justify for a third party to do? To say, hey, fraud alert, someone is, is over. But just think about this logic for a second. Would you apply this to religion? Government says people are selling something that's a fraud. They're, they're, but we can't prove that it's a fraud. We just know that they don't have proof of what they're selling. People are selling something. They don't have proof that it works. Well, gee, that happens all the time in America, right? I mean, that what is, what is, and, and I'm reading the story going, well, they're, they're selling false hope. Hello, is that what, if you, if you do what we say, you're going to go to heaven. We don't have any scientific proof of this. But uh, put money in the plate, especially if you really want. If you really want to go to the good heaven, the, the you put a, the more money you put in the plate, the uh, you know the better heaven you're going to get. Yeah, the more the more yeah the more odds are the, you're you're going to go to the good heaven with the good people when you die. And they don't have any proof of this. Do they shut them? No, they give them tax exemptions. Why? Because if and I'm not I'm not saying like well they shut down the vitamin C clinic they should sh shut down churches because they're committing fraud on on their, uh, you know, people who get, donate to church. No, but we should shut down government. The people should, we should apply this. And it's not just that we don't have, government comes in, hey, we're, we we believe that it's spending all this money. We believe that these government programs, we have proof that the government programs aren't working, that they're actually counterproductive to their stated objectives. 
So we should actually apply even just the basic appropriate standard of what do you shut down? When someone is committing a fraud that is hurting people, a third party should justifiably intervene and shut down the people who are committing a fraud that's actually hurting people. And it's not people selling vitamin C because it's going to boost your immune system and might have something to do with helping you with Corona. It's the government's basic premise that government works, that, that, that violence and coercion can make the world a better place. No, absolutely not. So why are they shutting down the vitamin C clinic that is overhyping their treatment as a uh, as, as something that's going to help with Corona? Because they want to control the narrative. They want to control the treatment. They want to, as with everything else that government is, is set up for, they want to keep the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. They want to be able to control the treatment, the vaccine. Same thing with why cannabis is illegal, right? Why is now we know the reason why it became illegal, William Randolph Hearst, the paper industry, because it was a way of keeping hemp from competing with trees for paper when he owned forests and blah 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 blah. Newspaper industry magnate. Why is it illegal now? One of the big reasons it stayed illegal and is, is only now partially becoming legal is the pharmaceutical industry, right? Cannabis is a cure for so many things. There's so many different drugs that would just be shut down, right? Well, what if we took an honest look at the science of Corona and vitamin C? What if we found that, hey, just regular vitamin C treatment may, means the, the mortality rate goes down from, you know, being about like the flu to being like a third of the flu. They don't want that out there. And this isn't I me. Mean, this isn't a conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy fact. This is the story right in front of us. They're shutting down a vitamin C clinic while promoting vaccines that are actually hurting people, while promoting government policy that is counter to science and actively hurts people, while mandating masks that have an overall negative health impact despite the science that proves that. Yeah. See the patterns now? I wish it was as obvious to everyone else as it is to people like like us who are paying attention.